Hello guys and welcome back to my channel Fashion Fanatic. Today I'm going to be doing a Christmas unboxing slash review of a pair of Ugg boots. And these are some um, boots that I decided to purchase for myself for Christmas, right? We can do that. We can buy our own Christmas presents, right? Sometimes we have to do that and uh, if we do that we know number one, we're going to get what we want, right? Someone's not going to just buy whatever it is they think you want so you know that you get exactly what you want and sometimes we just you know have to to gift ourselves for you know just i guess being an amazing person or just you know because we deserve it so that's why i did decide to do that for myself anyway um the uh boots that i'm going to uh unbox are called the ugg stellar boots i did the ugg stellar sequin boots i did purchase them in the mini size they do come mini and they do come in the short boot size as well but i do have a pair of the silver sequin boots which i absolutely love and i got those in the short boots so i decided well let me try the mini boots in the sequin so i can kind of mix it up a little bit so anyway i'm going to show you the box that it came in so as you can see here i did purchase them in the size eight all right, and I'm going to actually do the unboxing here so you can take a look. And ta-da! So as you can see, it's a lot of sequins on this boot, right? So for me, not a big deal. I'm a sequin girl. Like I said, I have the silver sequin um, short boots. So for me, you know, I just, I really like sequin boots. So I just wanted to get something different than what I had. I don't have any black boots, so for me, um, the fact that they came in black, I said, okay, let's try these out. They do have, I think, another color of these sequin boots. I think they may be pink. I'm not quite sure. You have to check and see. But anyway, I'm going to have you um, take a look. Um, I'll bring it up to you. But as you can see, there's like a, like a tubular kind of a structure here that comes up to the boot. And then, of course, it connects around to the front of the boot. So you see here, it's kind of like a tubular structure then, and it connects again up the side of the boot, okay? Um, it's really hard to see, but you see the sequins. So the sequins are not like the other sequins in the other boots that so they have. The other sequins in the other boots, if you bring, if you push the sequins up, you'll see a different color and then you pull them down, you'll see a different color. Here, it's pretty much the same. It's the same on the front of the sequin and on the back of the sequin. Um, it looks to me, I don't know if you can see up close, I see some, there's some blue sequins here, kind of like yellowish oranges, and then kind of like a lime green sequin. So, yeah, so that way you can see, okay? Um, the back of the boot, of course, you see it, there's an Ugg, Ugg symbol here, Ugg um, characters. There's this suede kind of a strip. And if you see here, it's like a, I don't know, a little space in there. I don't know what the function of that is, but they did do that. Um, the rim here is kind of small. Uh, you can see here, this is the suede on the inside of the boot. It's a black suede. I think here, you're down in, that's more of a brown kind of a suede at the base, but this is black. Um, it does have like a more rounded kind of a look to the boot itself. So if you look here, it's like a round kind of appearance. It seems a little bit more rounder than the other Ugg boots to me. Um, so anyway, so you can see here, I'm going to have you take a look again. Then we'll turn here in the back again from far away so you can see how it looks. But yeah, so that's how it looks up front. Of course, you can rewind the video if you want to look at it again. But I am going to try the boots on for you so you can see how they look. And as you can see, like I said, these are mini, so these are the shorter boots. The other ones will come up higher. All right, guys. Um, welcome back. Um, this is the portion of the video where I usually try on the shoes so you can see how they look. So as you can see, these are the uh, mini shoe. And the reason they're the mini is because they kind of just come a little bit um above the ankle barely above the ankle uh short boot comes up a little bit more so if you can see um in the front as i mentioned i feel like there is kind of like a more kind of a rounded look there around the 
front of the shoe. So to me, it seems a little more rounded than the average sequin boot. I mean, not even a sequin boot, just their boots in general. It just seems a little rounded. So anyway, that's the front view. Um, this is probably the view that you're gonna really wanna see. And that's the um, side view. So you can see where the boots kind of come up to. It's a better view if you look on the side here. All right, and then I'm gonna show you the back view and you can see where that um, kind of a black strip goes up the back and the bottom part of the uh, boot is uh, kind of suede. Um, you can see the black suede there. I'm gonna turn around so <clears throat> um, I can kind of model the boot um, for you. I'll come up a little bit there so you can see how it looks. All right. And I'll turn again for you so you can see as well. And again, you know, if you can't see it all with this um, one viewing, you can always rewind the video and um, take a look at it again. I also like to kind of come up a little bit so I can show you it up close. I did show you it earlier. So you can see how it looks, see how the colors are. And then I'll turn up here to the side of the shoe. So, and then I'll turn in so you can see kind of like the back of it as well. Okay. All right. So I do hope that this um, video was informative. Um, I like the boots because I'm a sequin person. Um, everybody's different. You know, definitely you would have to make sure you try to find something to kind of go along with this, um, with these colors, like I said, because the colors are a little bit, uh, are different um, with the kind of an orangish, kind of a bluish kind of appearance to it. So I may not go with every outfit, but I'm sure you'll find something that you can wear with. Um, and again, you do have to be a kind of a sequin girl to kind of um, be feeling these shoes. And I mean, that's me. For some people, it might be a little bit too much, but you know, for me, I kind of like the wow factor. I like to be different. And so I don't get Uggs because of what somebody else is wearing. I try to get something that's different. So, so that's why I, I purchased them. And again, it was a good price point. Um, these here were on sale um, and they were on sale on the Ugg site as well as at Nordstrom's. I got them for, um, I think at the Ugg site, they were $114.99 in the Ugg closet. Um, Nordstrom's, they had them for um, $119, so around the same price. So actually it was $60 cheaper than they, what they normally go for. I think they normally go for $180. I don't know how long they'll be on sale. I know this is kind of a post Christmas kind of a sale. And so definitely if you are interested in getting these, like I said, Uggs did have them on sale. I don't know if they still do um, the Ugg website, but I know Nordstrom's definitely had them on sale. Uh, at this point, you have to be able to see if you can actually get your size because I do know that the short boot kind of sold out, you know. So the only thing I, I could find was the mini boot. I'm sure they'll have more in stock later on, but at this point, you know, this is post-Christmas. So definitely things are going to be out of stock in sizes. So so I thought that wasn't a bad price point, $120 for a pair of Ugg shoes. They were number, normally $180. You can't beat it, right? So anyway, um... Like I said, I hope this was informative. I do want to let you know, I do have another um, website, I mean, a channel on YouTube as well called Purse Fanatic. So if you want to take a look at that, you can. Um, I will be doing reviews as well of purses and just going into my own um, purse stash and showing you that. But also I like to do uh, what's called um, uh, repair of purses that I may have purchased on a use site and then refurbish them and just showing you what they look before and what they look like afterwards. So that's my kind of a thing. So if you're interested in that, you may want to check out Purse Fanatic. And then also, if you like this channel or you like this particular um, review, you can like it below. Um, if you like the channel and you want some other content, please um, subscribe to the channel as well. Like I said, it's called Fashion Fanatic. So, um, and then just give me your comments on uh, the shoes, you know, whether you like them, you don't like them, you know, what you do and what you don't like about them. All right, you guys. So um, have a great day. See you soon. Bye-bye.